Hey y'all, I just watched Rocketeer Season 4 Episode 17, and wow, that was very intense. So basically, I'm going to give y'all a summary real quick. In the beginning, it appears that Carapace, Kanoor, and Ladybug were in a battle together. The battle gets resolved, and Nino seems to have something bothering him. Ladybug asks Nino what's wrong. Nino reveals that he wonders why Alia is not able to battle with them, and Ladybug tells him that he was the only one that was necessary in the battle, basically alluding to the fact that Rena Rouge was not needed in this battle, but in actuality, she was needed and she was used. Then Rena and Marinette detransform out of sight, out of mind from Shadow Moth or anybody else, that way, you know, their identities don't get revealed. Ali gets excited, talks about her new costume and her name. Yeah, I'm, I don't really speak Portuguese, so I don't want to embarrass myself on here. She's excited about everything. And that's when Marinette asks her, hey, like, you've told Nino that you're not Rena Rouge anymore. She hasn't said anything to him. Because even though she technically is still Rena Rouge, or... As we know from Senti Bubbler, Alia basically made it seem, gave an illusion that Ladybug told Alia that she won't be receiving the Miraculous anymore. So now Hawk, Hawk Moth, I mean Shadow Moth, whatever you want to call him, he basically thinks that Alia is not a permanent Miraculous holder anymore. So now nobody can know that someone permanently has the Fox Miraculous. Marinette slash Ladybug wants Alia to tell Nino that she's not Rhea, Rina Rouge anymore. But the thing is, Alia feels guilty. Alia lies to Nino, telling him that she's no longer Rina Rouge anymore. But, you know, obviously she feels bad. Later, Rina and Nino go to the movies, and he gets jealous of Cat Noir. I felt that the scene spiked insecurity in Nino, firstly because he did not see care pace in it. And he felt like the other heroes have more importance than him. And he was seeing his girl basically trying to seduce Cat Noir, even though it's just a movie, it still, at the end of the day, hurt his feelings. They get ice cream after the movie, but Ladybug needs Alia, so she had to lie to Nino so that way she could leave. She did this to help Ladybug. And now, Nino's already kind of jealous after that movie, and sees kids play dress-up as the Ladybug, Carapace, and Cat Noir. And this made Nino sadder. After this, so now Nino's just chilling and then sees... Alia admiring Cat Noir on her lady block, and Nino's jealousy intensifies. Look at this clip real quick. <laughs> Do you see Nino's face? Look how mad he is. He is big mad. Now Nino goes to his best friend Adrian, tells Adrian about her loving Cat Noir, you know, because of the video, and Adrian tries to let him know that's not true because it doesn't. The video doesn't prove anything. Now Nino wants to go find proof, and Adrian knows it's not like that, but he wants to make sure he didn't get her to fall in love with him. So, he decides to just go and see Alia, just in case. So now, after this, Nino dresses like a detective. Remember this picture, y'all? Remember how everybody was talking? Oh, what could it be? Does it mean that Nino's older? Is it something in the future? No, it was just Nino being a detective. Gat Noir goes to Alia's place, and she basically tells him that she loves her boyfriend, and basically they cleared up the confusion with each other. That's not what Nino saw, right? Because Nino didn't actually hear the conversation. He sees them together, and assumes that they're secretly in love with each other. So Nino sees them, you know, making cute little heart gestures to each other, and them hugging. So in Nino's eyes, it just looks like, you know, Gat Noir swooped in, became Mr. Studio Girl, so now Nino's, you know, upset. He cries and runs off. Poor Nino, like, look how sad he looks. Look how sad Nino looks. Poor Nino. He doesn't know that Rina actually loves him and not Cat Noir. So Nino takes Adrian to a secret area. Now the thing is, I'm not sure if it's a basement or if it's like a secret classroom, like an old classroom or a basement. I'm not really sure. But anyways... Nino shows Adrian the picture of Alia and Cat Noir hugging. And Adrian says that's a misunderstanding and that Alia is not going to fall in love with somebody she doesn't even know. And Nino says that they know each other better than he thinks. This is where Nino tells Adrian things he's not supposed to know. Such as him being Carapace and Alia being Rina Rouge. 
I'm not sure if he was faking being surprised by his identity because the episode where Queen Bee got akumatized and Hawk Moth revealed their identities or if Adrian genuinely did not know that he was Carapace and Alia was Rear No Rooch. That's what I'm genuinely not um, sure about. But anyways, the second thing is he was not supposed to know was that Alia and Nino know each other's secret identities. Adrian's confused because their identities are supposed to be kept away, even from the ones they love. And he said that Ladybug could never agree to that. But Nino explained she gave the miraculous to them at the same time. And Adrian's stunned and sad. Adrian's stunned and sad. Then Nino basically roasts Cat in a war. Look at this clip. Eu sei, eu sou da equipe. E eu sei como ele age na vida real. Claro, assim que a Ladybug aparece, ele se joga aos pés dela com rosas e declarações de amor. Mas é sempre rejeitado, porque a Ladybug acha ele um chato e com toda razão. E... Why do Adrian look like that, though? He looks scared. Aw, poor Adrian. He literally just roasted and called and got called annoying by his best friend. <sighs> then Nino got akumatized. Plague recommends Adrian not to fight him because the extreme lengths that Nino will go to. But he transforms into Cat Noir anyways. For the first time, I don't remember there ever being like another time, but Cat Noir is sad in this transformation. Do y'all remember how in season 4, the beginning, that Marinette was sad because, you know, she was, like, facing depression, I think, because of all the responsibilities she had to take over and, you know, then she told Alia, blah, 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 right? Anyways, now Adrian is sad because of numerous things. First of all, his friend is being akumatized because he hates Cat Noir. Well, Cat Noir is Adrian, and it hurts to hear that his best friend hates him. And he even earlier got roasted by him, hearing him call him annoying. And then Nino said Ladybug thinks he's annoying too. That must hurt him really bad, you know? Secondly, he found out that Ladybug let Carapace and Rena Rouge know each other's identities. This must hurt him really bad. To him, he feels that if Rena and Carapace can know each other's identities, then why can't he know Ladybug's identity? You know, it's like he's out of the loop. It isn't fair for him because basically... You know, Ladybug knows Ali Alia's and Nino's identity as Carapace and Rena Rouge, while he didn't even know that. And that must suck for him because, you know, he's been a part of this since the beginning. Then Nino fights in Cat War and wants to kill him. Usually in Miraculous, they don't try to kill the characters, but, you know, they just want the rings, right? Because, like, yeah. They don't usually try to kill the characters, they usually just want the rings in Revenge. But, I don't remember, maybe I'm tripping, maybe I just don't remember, I've watched all the episodes, but I haven't rewatched it in a while. But I don't remember ever hearing them actually try to, like, kill anybody. Maybe, if it did happen, it happened, like, once or twice, but usually, like, that doesn't happen, so that was actually pretty dark. Kanoar doesn't want to fight, but Nino doesn't care, and still tries to fight him anyway. Marina and Alia have an underwhelming transformation. Look at this real quick. What was that? They should just transform together. Like, it would have looked cool. Oh, well, maybe it was, wasn't was in the budget anyways. Or maybe they're just lazy. I don't know. Anyways. Ladybug's lucky charm was a projector. And Rena Rouge made an illusion of the conversation on the projector. So Nino can hear what actually happened. Ali and Nino give each other hugs. And by the way, Nino's crying in this picture. Um, I just didn't screenshot him crying but he was crying then nino broke off from shadow moth the only person who has done that in the past was alia which is actually quite surprising i didn't expect him to like de himself so right here look at this read what it says right there he said love and secrets do not go well together ladybug shadow moth might be foreshadowing something catastrophic maybe in a future episode it can mean many things first of all about alia and nino or secondly, about Cat Noir and Ladybug. What do I mean by this? Okay, so he could be talking about the love and secrets, you know, that Alia and Nino have. Basically, you know, for example, that Alia knows Ladybug's identity and, you know, she can't keep secrets from him and stuff like that, right? And, you know, that could be catastrophic because you never know, like, the more people that know a secret, then it's kind of bad. Also, Ladybug will end up being mad at Alia, stuff like that. Secondly, it could also talk about the secrets that Ladybug is hiding from Cat Noir. 
such as Rina Rouge knows Ladybug's identity, right? We already know how, basically, like, do you, like in Scentsy Bubbler, he basically was already starting to feel left out, and wasn't even gonna listen, he almost ruined Alia's plan because he felt left out, and was like, you know, Ladybug didn't say anything, so he didn't care, he was, he literally even knocked down the wall because he was so angry, and basically said that, um, Ladybug's Miraculous would fix anything. So, you know, everything will pile on top of one another, and if everything piles on top of one another, he blows up Chaplank 2.0, or maybe something different. I don't know. But anyways, that's another thing it could possibly mean. She gives him a charm, but he says he doesn't need it. Look at this scene. Eu me enganei sobre você, cara. Me desculpa. Todo mundo tem dúvidas de vez em quando. Até eu. Tá tudo bem, Cat Noir? Tá, tá sim. Zero. Zero. Do you see? He is so heartbroken and disappointed in Ladybug that he's losing trust in her. And as earlier, you know how I was talking about the foreshadowing, kind of. He already knows that he was feeling left out on the Senti Bubbler. Look at this scene. It's adding on one another. And he's already starting to feel left out. And now feels more left out because they're all keeping secrets from him. And on top of that, now he is losing trust in her. And might even resent her. If things keep on spiraling down, he already has a sad life at home. You know, his dad basically kind of neglects him in a way. And his only kind of support is like, you know, his little bit of friends at school. But one of the biggest things he looks forward to is Ladybug. You know, and she's one of the few people she's able, he feels like he could depend on. But now his trust is deteriorating. The next, Cat Noir tells Plague how he feels, and it's obvious he's very upset. You know, Plague is basically like, it is what it is. Like, Plague don't really care that much, but Adrian's still mad. Then next, in the next scene, Alia tells Nino that she's still Bruno Rouge. Because, you know, she felt bad about keeping the secret. Bruh, she literally just went against what... You know, Marinette just told her, but I guess she didn't care. You know, I understand why she'd feel bad, because she, she, okay, look, in all honesty, that's kind of Marinette's fault, too, because Marinette already knows how Alia is, because even though Marinette told her not to tell her, let's be honest, Marinette probably deep down knows that Alia's going to tell Nino, so in my opinion, that's on her, too. At the end, there's a picture. There, and there's Cat Noir looking at the moon. Doesn't it remind y'all about the destroyed moon and Cat Blanc? Everyone looks happy except Cat Noir. Everybody's in a colorful bubble except Cat Noir. Cat Noir looks kind of sad looking at the moon. I'm not sure if this is actually going to foreshadow like a Cat Blanc 2.0 or something similar to it. But wow, I'm excited and nervous, y'all, because it's going to give me goosebumps. Maybe I'll cry, maybe I won't. Y'all! You know what? When Adrian, you know, found out all that stuff, like, I was getting all, you know, sad and stuff because, you know, I was being empathetic and stuff. And then at the end, you know how he got all sad and made that sad face? I know I didn't say this earlier, but, man, like, I want to cry a little bit. I got goosebumps and want to cry. Like, I was like, dang, like, that was, like, a deep emotion, you know, because I'm, like, so connected to these characters. It's just, like, wow, like, I just felt so bad for him. Like, ah! There's some things I want to cut, touch base upon. Um, well, I'm pretty happy that Cat Noir slash Adrian's getting, finally getting more screen time. Even though this episode's still more about Nino, we get a lot more Adrian and Cat Noir than we usually have for the past, you know, episodes. In addition, I'm just happy that they clarified that Nino does not know Cat Noir's true identity. Because, you know, people were kind of confused. We weren't really sure because, you know, we knew that Marinette told Alia that she's Ladybug, but we weren't sure if Adrian has told Nino or not. So, but after this episode's clarified that he did not tell his identity. Another question is, it says that Alia's new costume, is it invisible or could she just not post it? If you read what it says, Alia, you know, no one can see these pictures because it's invisible fox. Does that mean she's being invisible like nobody's allowed to see her? Or can literally nobody see her when she's... Can nobody see her in her new suit? Like, literally? Or figuratively? Like, they just aren't supposed to see her in her new suit? Or can only certain people see Alia? 
whenever she's in her new form, or is she just not allowed to? Or is it both? That's what I was confused on. Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest. 